Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. How are you? Uh, my name is Tanvir Ahmed, and by profession I am engineer. I am going to teach you uh, mathematics uh, for international students. Uh, I have selected uh, this uh, book. You can see, uh, and I will read it out for you. Uh, it is Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Core and Extended Course Book. Uh, in fact, uh, I have served in a uh, public office uh, uh, for more than uh, 30 years. Uh, now I would like to share my knowledge to uh, the students through uh, this platform. Uh, so uh, let us start uh, from the beginning and uh, then we'll proceed uh, from exercise number one. Uh, so let's start. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, let us start uh, with uh, reviewing number concepts. It is chapter number one, and let's recap the different types of the numbers. First of all, you see here it is written natural numbers, and it is a list. And I am going to tell you one by one. The natural number starts from one, two, three, four, five. In fact, these are the uh, numbers which occurs in the nature. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine until it goes to infinity. These are also called counting numbers. Zero is not included. Here students, uh, it starts from one and it ends in, at infinity and nobody knows what is infinity. Uh, this sign over here is infinity sign and uh, let us proceed towards uh, the uh, next and it is Odd numbers, odd numbers uh, are the numbers which are not divisible by 2. Here you can see that none of these are divisible by 2. 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9, uh, these are not divisible by 2. And then comes the even numbers. Uh, you see that here you, uh, the numbers which are written ahead of even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 and so and so forth. Uh, the uh, property of these numbers are uh, that these are divisible by 2 here you can see that it, it is divisible by 2 and 4 is divisible by 2 6 is divisible by 2 8 is divisible by 2 and so and so forth uh, next comes the integer integers are any of the negative or positive whole numbers including 0 you can see it on the number line uh, that uh, these are coming from the negative side and uh, to, uh, it, it, these are going towards the positive side and 0 is also included in them. Next come the prime numbers. Well, the prime numbers are the whole numbers greater than 1, which has only two factors, the number itself and 1. And you can see that uh, 2 is also written over here and uh, this is the only uh, even number in the prime number rest of all are the odd numbers then comes the square numbers uh, square numbers are numbers which are formed by the product of itself uh, that means if i multiplied 1 with the number 1 i get 1 if i multiplied 2 uh, multiplied uh, i if i multiplied 2 with 2 i get 4 if i multiply 3 with 3 i get 9 I, if I multiply 4 with 4, I get 20, uh, for 16 and so and so forth, 25 and then 36 and so and so forth. And then comes the fractions. Uh, well, uh, fractions are the number representing parts of a whole number and they can be written as a common or vulgar, vulgar fractions uh, in the form of A divided by B or as a decimal using the decimal point here you can see uh, my pointer is pointing towards the decimal or it is written as the fraction as in upper line here a small uh, uh, separating by a small uh, horizontal line uh, so we uh, come to the end of the uh, recapitulation and uh, so let's proceed towards the uh, exercise well dear students you can see uh, I have written here question number one and uh, for question number one uh, they have given this these numbers you can see these numbers over here uh, it is minus four minus one zero 
1 by 2, 0.753, uh, 4, 6, 11, 16, 19 and 25. From these numbers, this, this set is given from these number first of all we have to uh, select and pick and choose uh, the natural numbers which is the part A of the question number 1 exercise 1.1 so the natural numbers are 3, 4, 6, 11, 16, 19 and 25 uh, from this uh, given example uh, then comes even numbers even numbers are only 4, 6 and 16 here you can see uh, 4, 6 and 16 are the uh, even numbers. Then come the odd number. Uh, there are 3, 11, 19 and 25. You can see in the example that these are 3, 11, 19 and 25. Uh, then comes uh, integers. Uh, integers are minus 4, minus uh, 1, 0, uh, 3, 4, 6, 11, 16, 19 and 25. In fact, uh, except the two fractions that are written here uh, is 1 by 2 and 0.75 all are integers. And uh, in the next part he is asking about the negative integers. So the negative integers are only minus 4 and minus 1. I have underlined it. Minus 1, minus 4 and uh, minus 1. Then students come the square numbers you can see here the square numbers it's part G uh, this is part G and it is uh, square numbers from the above uh, example or given numbers is 4, 16 and 25. Uh, fractions, fractions are 1 by 2 and 0.75 only. Uh, prime number from the given example is 3 11 and 19 and in the last he is asking that neither it should be square nor it should be prime so we write here minus 4 minus 1 0 half 0.75 and 6 because these are neither square and these are not prime numbers uh, it ends up uh, with our uh, first question now we will proceed to the second question well dear students now we proceed towards the question number 2 and I have already written on it on the board. Uh, it says the first question is the next four odd numbers after 107. Uh, here you can see it clearly. The next four odd numbers after 107. Of course, after 107, uh, 107 is not included. Uh, so uh, the answer is 109, one, uh, triple 1, 111. 113, 115 or the next part in the same question is uh, four uh, consecutive even numbers between 2008 and two, uh, 2020, uh, 2030. Uh, there are uh, many an uh, answers as you can see I have written here many answers um, because it contains many consecutive even numbers in, in, this, in, in between these two numbers. So I have written only two uh, sets. Well students, uh, one set is uh, starting from uh, 2008 and the other set, set is ending upon 2030. So I have selected only two set of uh, uh, four consecutive numbers. are 2024, 20, 2026, 20, 2028 and 2030. Dear students, uh, proceed to uh, what's, uh, question number part number uh, question number two part number C. All odd numbers between 993 and 1007. Uh, dear students, you notice that the uh, we have to write between 993 and 1007, uh, 1007. Uh, these two numbers are not included in our answer. So. Uh, uh, we have to write 995, 997, 999, 1001, 1003 and 1005. Uh, after this uh, uh, comes part D. Uh, part D says first five square numbers. Uh, okay, no problem. Uh, multiply 1 with 1, we get 1. Multiply 2 with 2, we get 4. Multiply 3 with 3, we get 9 and so and so forth. 
uh, we have uh, taken all the uh, five numbers uh, up till 25 you see here uh, 1 4 9 16 and 25 the next um, uh, part is four decimal fractions smaller than 0.5 uh, there are again many more uh, many uh, answers uh, for this question and uh, I have only written few of them 0 0.45 0 0.25 0 0.33 0 0.4 it we have to write uh, fractions smaller than 0 0.5 okay so th uh, there are lot of hundreds of uh, answers for this question uh, for vulgar fractions that are uh, that are smaller than uh, half but less than 3 by 4 so uh, here you can see the example is the answer is 11 upon 23 3 upon 5 13 upon 20, 7 upon 20, 10 and there are again many more answers to this question. So this also concludes our question number 2. Let's proceed to the question number 3. Well, dear students, uh, now I am going to solve this question in front of you uh, because we are getting towards some harder questions now. Uh, the sum of two odd numbers. Here you can see the two odd numbers. Let us see 1 plus 3 is equal to what 4 5 plus 7 what is it 12 so you see uh, dear students that the numbers which are uh, the outcome of each of the example I have written here is an even number. 1 plus 3 is 4 even number, 5 plus 7 is even number, 3 plus 9 is even number, 11 plus 13 is even number 24. Now proceed to question number B. The sum of two even numbers. The sum of two even numbers should be an even number. 2 plus 4, 6. See dear students that uh, here uh, we are uh, getting all even numbers again. If we are adding two even numbers, the outcome is even always. The sum of an odd and an even number. So students, you see here, if we add three, uh, an odd number, odd number with an even number, the outcome is odd. Here again, odd. Here again, odd. Well, dear students, you can see uh, here I have scared the odd numbers. Just few. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. 7 multiplied by 7 is 49. That means the outcome will be always odd number. Now we'll come to the next part of uh, uh, this and it will... Uh, is it is the square of even numbers well dear students you can see I have written uh, square of even numbers um, 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 6 multiplied by 6 is 36 and here you can see uh, 8 multiplied by 8 is 64 so the outcome of the even numbers uh, while scaring it is uh, always even number an odd number multiplied by an even number. The last question, Friends, you see an odd number when it is multiplied by an even number, what is the outcome? Uh, I have written here 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2, 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12, 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 30 and 11 multiplied by 12 is 132. So dear students, uh, you notice that the uh, if an odd number is multiplied by an even number gives uh, us an even number always an even number so my dear students uh, this was the uh, last uh, part of the question number three and it ends up the and it concludes the exercise and uh, I hope you have enjoyed staying with me have a good day have a nice day uh, till next lecture uh, Allah Hafiz and uh, bye.